Okay, I'm just carrying on now with the cleanup of this one. I'm going to give the um, doll plate a polish. Um, unfortunately, I can't take it out of the chassis. Well, I could take take the top plate right off, but it's a real pain. Um, as you can see, it's a bit manky. There's some living creatures, or dead living <laughs> creatures that once were living. Um, so let's pop that one off. I'm going to see if I can polish that without going through the chrome. That's going to be have to go real careful with that. I really don't know what manufacturers paint on these things to get them this, this shiny, because obviously it's plastic, but um, these are a bit tricky to get off. You don't want to use anything to force them because you'll scratch a doll plate up. So uh, you could do with centering those a little bit better. But again, again, I'm just being fussy, I suppose. But uh, I like it to be right. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to pop these off. I'm going to need to get, put, put some rubber gloves on and give them a tug and they will come. Okay, I started cleaning this with um, isopropyl and I noticed it started um, coming away. So, uh, <laughs> well, that to me is actually perfect because um, that enabled me to clean it properly and not damage the chrome paints around, which normally I've got to mask off. So, I'm just... Um, Loosening it up the more isopropyl, and as you can see, it's um, pretty scary but nearly off. It also enabled me to polish it a little bit as well. Obviously, very flimsy. There we are. One perfect Roberts. Dial plate just held in, looks like it with a matrix of um, glue. So I'm going to polish that up now. It's really given me a chance to have a great go at that. Got to be pretty careful, but um, certainly saves taking the chassis out. Not that I'd recommend doing that to a radio, but um, in this case, it has actually done the job it also means I'll be able to get these knobs off as well because I can prise them out now plenty of room to get in there and they certainly need to come off they are manky so let's see if we can get them off with the old double screwdriver method cool they're pretty Three on that, there it comes. That's the first one. Oof, yeah, manky. Manky alert. This one, come on, little wiggle, there we go. Off he comes. There, I can give them a good polish up now. I can clean all this up. One of the problems you get with these um, radios, you can't use anything polishing on, on any of this silver surround piece because it will just come, but well, just go back to bare, probably bare plastic. So um, to be avoided at all costs. But, uh, yeah, that is very interesting. That. As I say, there's a little bit of scratching that on the face. It doesn't need a lot of clean. I'm not going to go mad on it. Just going to use my very fine scratch remover and hopefully I'm going to look at that under a high power magnifier and um, just make sure that that is below the surface, the paintwork. It looks like it's a laminate on top. So uh, here we go. Just thought I'd show you that as it um, came apart. <laughs> it's very interesting. I didn't know they came apart like that. I was saying that I have seen a couple on eBay with the front faces lifting. I just thought it was um, heat damage, but there you go. As I say, I will double-sided tape all of that, and that will go straight back on because that's very thin. I've obviously put that on with a machine that glue. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's like a, a little glue matrix. So I must have got a template. To spray the glue on, and then just drop them on. Glue, job done. Yeah, there we go. Onwards. Well, there it is, uh, polished. 
I'm very aware it's really thin so there is still some scratching on it but um, it's come up a lot better. It's probably the easiest doll play I've ever done actually. <laughs> but as I say, at your risk if you give that a go but um, yeah a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol and that just lifted that glue right off. What a game. <laughs> If you want my advice, don't peel it off. But it did help clean it up quite a bit. I'm going to go over it with a bit of isopropyl and I just get rid of some sticky uh, bits on it. But um, that has come out nice, I must admit. It has helped getting that off, but um, like I say. Not for the faint hearted that one. Okay. Now these I've polished um the knobs up, giving them a good clean. There we are, it's got his face back on. Next we've got to get it back into this one. So, this has had the sides polished up. Well, not polished, I put um, Danish oil on it, both sides. It's come out really nice. So, not much has to do apart from get it back in now. So, bear with me. I'm going to clean up here, then I'm going to put it back in, in that order. I'm going to try and do it with all this junk on the desk. I'm going to put it all back together. So, first of all, let's get the speaker back in. Don't forget the washers. Always when you're putting these speakers back, worth just um, doing these up finger tight to start with. Give them a little wiggle about, just make sure you know where you are with them. And that's the right way up as well, that's the point. Got a horrible feeling that speaker should be to the side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was facing the other way, so just as well I didn't tighten it up on that. Well, there it is, all back together. Fully sorted. As I say, it's it's an old radio, it's got its flaws, it's not perfect by any means, cosmetically wise, but um, let's say it came up really nice. Let's just put some power on it and um, make sure it still works. As I say, I've done a tune-up on it. I've sorted out that scratchy volume pot. I've given the top a polish, the sides. Say they've had um, 
down shawl on them, both sides. So it's it's a nice little radio. It's definitely a keeper. So let's um, pop some power on him. Let's bring it up uh, carefully, you never know. I was using batteries before, but I'm on the um, just powering it up with the mains isolation transformer. So <laughs> I think we can safely say that FM is working. I've um, cleaned and uh, lubricated the aerial, put some switch cleaner in it. So that's. Uh, Volume and tone controls have both been cleaned. All the switch banks have been cleaned inside. And in essence, all three women answered me the same way. Oh, Mom, we want to have a baby. Rightfully so. In the course of... a great performing radio on um, FM. <laughs> so let's go long wave. Right, I'll start turning this stuff off. That to start. <laughs> and that. Oh no, not too bad. Let's just tune in, let's pop that area down a minute. Good reception I for long wave, worker, very good reception, that's Radio 4. Why, there is something on there. Something is still um, interfering with it somewhere. Right, let's um, hook up our long wire again. Let's see, antenna, and we'll give it a roll on short wave. Not that it's going to be a lot different, all I've done is um, align the stations really. Let's try up the other end of the band.
e os seus olhos brilhavam como se tivesse ouro à sua frente. Ele foi para uma feira e avistou uma tarifaria. Naquela hora, a loja estava cheia de pessoas. and were completed rather late in 1914. Thus, Ellis Castle has become an architectural landmark of the late 19th century in Romania, says art critic Ruxandra Beldiman. Possibly Ellis Castle Romania. is an expression of German historicism. But who are the builders and architects who worked on the Ellis Castle along the years? Just below 6.5 megs, probably about Shortwave 1 is really busy at the top end of the band. So some volume on it would help. Eighteen legs, not gonna be a lot at the top end of the band tonight. Just under 14 mags. We're working on the local post time, which is not ours. We have been chosen for an eternal purpose. Just under 12 megahertz. That's a strong channel. Two frequencies. Broadcasting on two frequencies quite close together. And there.
That is 7.3, 7.4 megs. The fortress used to be surrounded by a 10 meter high and 8 meter deep ditch. <laughs> Then we're overlapping with uh, shortwave one. So, here you go. One fully sorted radio, working a treat. Give it a final buff up tomorrow when the uh, Dana Shore's gone a bit harder. And um, that one will go back on my shelf for another day. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate any comments, anybody's heard any channels that they uh, know what they are, any stations, then let me know. It's always nice to know what I've actually received. As I say, it's a long time since I've done any short waves, short wave listening. Uh, so I'm a little bit rusty on what's where. So all help is appreciated. Thanks, bye for now.